Howdy folks, I'm a little bit under the weather again, but I am recovering. But if you're wondering why my voice is funny, it's not because I'm in the garage. I'm just a little bit under the weather. I will be giving these guys away and I haven't even fished them. I just don't like them. I don't want to fish them. I have a bunch of super nice lures. It takes a lot for me to take a lure out of the box and even try it these days. If I don't like it, I'm not gonna fish it. But I thought before I give them away, let me at least show them to you. So if somebody is browsing Leland Lures website and maybe wondering if, if these are any good, since you know how much I like the trout magnets, I thought, well, let's do a video with them, show them to the folks uh, before we give them away. They are packed, my gosh, they are packed well. One of them flew. Here is a good focus. This is the trout magnet bugs, okay? Why don't I wanna fish this? I know if I throw this in the water around bluegill, I'm gonna catch bluegill, I know it. First reason, I don't like the gap. There is too much wire sticking out of the lure. I don't like that. That gap should be, only half of it should be sticking out. Then it's not a jig head, so you need a split shot. But you can't fish it under a float because if you fish it under a float, it will be vertical. But I like to fish these things horizontal. So you gotta put a split shot and cast it without a float and retrieve it and then you can fish it but the last thing is i don't like the profile of the lure from top it looks amazing anything will eat it and they will eat it from the side too but why is it so flat i don't understand why is it so thin like paper why did it have to be so flat when you look at it from top the profile is absolutely amazing but the depth of this lure should have been like a trout magnet should have been cylindrical torpedo give it some juice give it some body see how nice it looks from top why is it paper thin i don't know if you can tell but it's really paper thin no body now like i said just put a one gram split shot on top of it and cast it like this and you're gonna catch bluegill i i guarantee you but i just have nicer lures and if I don't like it, I'm not going to fish it. Let me show you the Helgramites. Okay, here are the Helgramites. They have larger Helgramites and smaller Helgramites. And I can say, and they come with jig heads, the right size jig heads for those. By the way, the jig heads are sharp enough to catch any fish. They are not Japanese sharp, but trust me, if, if I tell you they're sharp enough, they're sharp enough. But the exact same thing that I told you about the other lure, I can tell you for this one. Why? Okay, on top it looks satisfactory. It's not the best looking. You cannot compare this with the detail of a Nico Helgramite. But you see, from top it doesn't look bad. But why is it thin like paper? Now, I've seen this. I watch YouTube too. What do you think? I've seen there are some new Japanese lures that come flat on purpose to have, you know, better action in the water. But even they, they're flat on one side, but the other side has some profile. This thing is flat like paper. How do you run a hook? Trust me, I tried. It's extremely difficult to even run a hook through this. Again, the, the color could have been nicer. You could have put some gold sparkle here, but even pure black is good enough. They will eat it but give this lure a little bit of body, at least up to here so we can drive the hook into some meat. Why make it so flat? Give it some body up to here, then leave the tail flat. That's fine. But even though I love Helgramites, everything eats Helgramites. You know, some very small bluegill will attack Helgramite because they hope to break it into pieces with the teeth, they, they just, like piranhas, they, they try to disintegrate it and eat the, the pieces. So that's how even five inch bluegill will attack a three inch helgramite, it will. 
everything attacks Helgramites. But I gotta tell you, the color is kind of plain. The plastic is pretty stiff. This plastic is, you know, the way we used to make lures 20 years ago. And the detail of the lure and the design, it cannot compare, to be honest with you, it cannot compare with uh, today's lures. So, okay, so here is the deal. Here is what's included in the giveaway, and then I'll tell you the rules of the giveaway. These four packs of trout magnet lures, brand new, never fished with. I mean, I'm just uh, gonna show you stuff that has fallen out of favor, but I know still catches fish. These are Charlie Brewer one inch swim baits. These are handmade by me, every one of them. I got only the hooks, then I put the head myself, then I put the body and then I crazy glued it. So you can catch, you know, 100 fish with one lure provided that the bluegill don't eat the tail, but the body will not slide off. So I don't know how many is in this box. You can count them. I'll give them all to you with the box. I, I have actually two boxes of, of these. There's another box behind me over there. I'm gonna keep one box, but these have been glued, I don't know, long time ago. It's time to give them away to somebody to use them because you know they're getting older and older and like i said i have too much stuff as it is so you're gonna get all of this i'm gonna also i'm on a journey here to find the perfect float for crappy fishing so when i see anybody sell some weird float i buy it just to test to make some experiments with it i glued this thing on top here i was experimenting with a cap so i've done some modifications but these are all what is this one gram, this is three and a half grams. So one gram, two gram, three and a half gram buoyancy, crappy floats, nothing wrong with them. I'm just done with this design and move on to the next experiments now. So you have some um, crappy floats here. And then, I don't know if you guys know, but uh, Perry Pippinger that makes the moonshine crappy jigs passed away. And, uh, he, he sent me this box for free. I made a video you can find on my channel about me fishing all of these lures. I don't know how many years ago was this, but again, I have so many lures. When am I going to fish this? So you get everything that you see, all of these lures that you see on the screen right now. However, I'm not going to be sending you the box. Not that I want the box, but the box will the box will make the shipping very expensive and I'm paying for shipping. Shipping is on me, but that's a big box. I need a even bigger box to mail the whole stuff. So I'm gonna just carefully place these so they're not kinked in a nylon bag, a few nylon bags, and you're gonna get all of these lures in nylon baggies, something like a Ziplocs. I'm gonna use five or six, probably two colors uh, in one of them. And that's how I'm gonna mail these to you. Uh, so if you're interested, this is, the, this is the whole package. The four packs of trout magnet lures, the three floats, this box with everything, and you get the box too. And all of the lures in the Moonshine Crappy Jigs uh, box. All of this, if you're interested in this, make me an offer in the email. The email will be in the description below. I accept all offers. In my mind, this is a giveaway. I will even pay the shipping. Shipping is on me. So, you know, I will pay 10 bucks just for shipping. And if I get an offer for $2, you get it. The only reason I'm asking for this is that's the only way that this stuff will go to somebody who, who wants to use it. If I just give it for free, everybody will apply. Give it, give it. Why not when it's free? And then it will sit in somebody's garage just like it's sitting in my garage now. But if somebody is giving you $5 for this or $10, I don't know, then, then they actually want to fish with it or they wouldn't pay money. So you know it's going to somebody who will use it. And my number one goal is when I do these giveaways, I want to give it to somebody who appreciates it, 
and wants to fish it. So if you want to try these things and fish with them, send me email. The payment will be in PayPal. I will only keep this 24 hours. Whoever sees the video sees after 24 hours, it goes away to the highest bid. Even if it's only five dollars, the highest, the highest bid gets it in uh, 24 hours. All right, thanks for watching, folks. Have a nice weekend. See you soon. Bye-bye.